Immigration continued to pour across the border, driving down wages. Refugees are welcome here. No and Pentagon funding to build a border wall, acknowledging once again he never got congressional approval. To stand against xenophobia, to stand against hate, to stand against Islamophobia. President Trump's hardline on immigration has been transformational. We have taken historic steps to secure our border, imposed needed immigration control like you've never seen before. Is that true? Since taking office, he has pushed for a border wall along the entire U.S.-Mexico border. That campaign promise, however, has been caught up in lawsuit after lawsuit. But what has shown greater impact are the invisible barriers the Trump administration has set up. Here are several ways Trump's policies are affecting real people. Days after taking office, President Trump signed an executive order banning refugees and visitors from seven mainly Muslim nations. The Supreme Court never decided that the president's Muslim travel ban is good policy. It is not. We successfully sued the Trump administration and won. And when the Supreme Court overturned that decision afterwards, we were devastated. This is a great victory for our Constitution. We have to be tough, and we have to be safe, and we have to be secure. In April 2018, the zero tolerance policy was implemented, allowing border agents to separate children from their families. The children are not being used as a pawn. We are trying to protect the children, which is why I'm asking Congress to act. Zero tolerance policy is of their making. That led to the Migrant Protection Protocol. Effective immediately. Individuals arriving in or entering the United States from Mexico illegally or without proper documentation may be returned to Mexico for the duration of their immigration proceedings. Uh, we shouldn't be deterring people from fleeing um, violent situations where they are refugees. You might remember this picture. I just think it's such a shame for that to be the face of America around the world. So we're going to have strong, very strong borders, but we're going to keep the families together. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated. But Trump's immigration overhaul is also being felt across all entry points to the U.S. The latest push is collecting DNA from migrants. The thinking here is faulty. It's based on this hypothesis that migrants are more likely to have committed crimes or are more likely to go on to commit crimes. As the November election inches closer, Trump needs to show progress into one of the key issues he thinks matters to his re-election. We're seeing things like social media monitoring, facial recognition technologies being employed, but genetic surveillance is just one of the many types of invasive uses of surveillance technologies used by the U.S. government. 